Hello and welcome to Lofty Pursuits and Public Displays of Confection in Tallahassee, Florida. I'm Greg and today I'm going to make some shamrock candies in an unusual flavor. The candies will be made on this 1871 drop roller with rollers in the shape of shamrocks. And we're doing this in the flavor of hops. I mean, why not? We've done a lot of flower flavors and hops are a flower. What? You don't know what hops is? Hops is a major ingredient in beer. And of course, beer is associated with St. Patrick's Day. And all the flavors in this nine flavor assortment are associated with St. Patrick's Day in one way or the other. And you'll find links to the various videos that I've made for this series of flavors in the description below. And I love these things because I get to develop new flavors and work with new ingredients. I tried using hops oil, but I wasn't really satisfied with the flavor. I wanted to work with pure hops and I found powdered hops and was milled very fine and I decided to work it into the candy itself. It was worked into the pot just before it was poured. So the only ingredients I'm using are sugar and hops. Now we think about hops as a bitter flavor, but it actually has a lot of flavors, especially depending on how it's prepared. There are people who use it on pizzas, there are people who actually use it in alcoholic beverages that aren't beer, and there are people who use it in desserts. And that's where we're going. We're doing this in such a way that it's going to taste tea-like. It's a material that's designed to be steeped for the flavor. It's fun to figure these things out. That is until the pot boils over again and again and again. And you then burn a pot and then you undercook a pot because the material is something new to work with. As frustrating as it is to try to figure this out, it's a whole lot of satisfaction that's achieved when you finally do figure it out. I've made beer with hops, but the hops was pellet form. Fresh hops is something which I'd only ever read about until I finally saw it, and I saw it on a trip up north. And here's a photo of it. I have one photo of a hops plant that I've taken, and that hops was in Steve's backyard. Yeah, Steve's from Hercules Candy. So the only hops plant I have a photo of is from another candy maker's backyard who also has a YouTube channel. As I mentioned, our St. Patrick's Day assortment will have nine flavors in it. Apple, whiskey vanilla, Irish cream, Irish coffee, barm brack, chocolate stout, foam toffee, clover honey, and of course, this hops. If you want to experience these flavors for yourself, just go to our website, www.pd.net. You can order it there and we ship worldwide. Or if you're ever in Tallahassee, come by the shop. We're open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. most days. We make candy a lot, but not all the time, and you may get to see it in person. And of course, you can get candy like this here. And sometimes get it still warm because we just made it. If you look carefully on these brass rollers, you'll see that the shapes of the shamrocks are interlocking. And we're making whole sheets of shamrocks, but we're going to have to take them apart in a minute. And we take them apart in a way that we just sort of like to do it. And you'll see why they're called drops. And because these rollers were so well designed 150 years ago, the pieces break apart perfectly. I wish all the rollers were this good. Of course, the candy isn't complete unless it passes a full taste test, and we had volunteers that were so nice to help us. The results were like this. All but one of the grown-ups liked it, and only one of the kids liked the flavor. It's one of these flavors that's really good, but very particular, and I like flavors like this. If you get to try this, let us know what you think. Is this a flavor we should do again? Thank you for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to us here on YouTube and click the notify button so that you find out when new videos come out. We post them regularly. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and go to our website, www.pd.net. There you can order candy or listen to our weekly podcasts.